Hello everyone, it's I, the Tripler. So, I don't know how long it's been since I did another video, but this is another Random Thoughts vlog series. Whatever. Yeah, I won't be wearing glasses when I do random thoughts and questions. Why? I just like to. That's why. So, uh, really, uh, I've been just, not really, I only got one random thought on my phone right here, but it's also just random thoughts, a random thought, fun facts about a show I like, and a deep saying on the show that I like. So, uh, yeah. It's gonna be a short video, it's gonna be lame. Still waiting on questions to come in, so there's that. So, uh, let's get into the random thoughts. Why do they call it a chopper? There's no H in copter. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then... That's that random thought for the day. Let's get to the uh, fun facts about the show I like. And if you don't know the show, you should totally watch it on Netflix. It's called Bojack Horseman. So, uh, Bojack Horseman. He's 53. His father's name? Butterscotch. His mother's name? Beatrice. Which is pretty, pretty neat. And now, like I said, it's going to be a short video. And this saying, I don't know who said it besides Bojack. I don't know if they got it from somewhere else or whatever, so don't shoot the messenger or whatever. But I kind of like it because it makes sense. And the saying is, it's sad when you see someone as they really are, and it ruins them. And, uh, I agree. I agree. It is sad when you see someone as they truly are, and it ruins that image of who they are to you. So, that's why I try my best to be me every day. If that sounds stupid, I mean, in the sense of, like, I try my best to, you know, what you see here on the on YouTube's is what you would see in real life, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I guess I can try to fill more time and think of other shit. Um, oh, wait, I do know that my sister, Sherelle, had asked me one question. So let's answer that one question, if I can find it. Oh, well, that's gonna be, uh, oh, wait, where is it, where is it? Oh, well, here's this. Here's my sister's random thought. So, I was just thinking. No, no, that's not good. When you watch Spongebob, you only ever really see him making Krabby Patties. But he calls himself Bry Coop. And I say, man, he's using the grill. She goes, indeed. I'm like, oh my god. Do you know what this means? You fucking retarded. So there's that. So let's find the question. Uh, oh. Oh, she sent two. That's cool. I'm also having her ask her co-workers for some questions. Because I really like to answer questions. Uh, her first one is, how do I feel about Trump as president? Now, I don't really know how controversial this topic is. So let's start off by saying, I don't really support either candidate when they were running. If anything, I would have kept Obama. Just saying, that's me personally. But, how do I feel about Trump being president? Well, I mean, I hope he's a good one. I mean, I know a lot of people think he's gonna fuck up, and that's, like, not cool. I mean, everyone can think what they want. I'm just saying, like, if you think a bad thing enough, it's gonna happen. So if you keep on thinking, Trump's gonna fuck America up, Punk, or Trump's gonna fuck America up, guess what? You gonna do it. But you kept on fucking speaking it, and now it became reality. So to me, uh, I hope he does good. I mean, no one liked Obama in the first place, and he did pretty good. So, I mean, let's just give Trump a chance. You know, whatever, let the dude swing. You know, he's up at the plate, he did something, he got off his ass, he went to go be president. Sure, it was probably a joke in the beginning, and then when he realized, oh fuck, I'm winning, he's like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta get my shit together. You know, maybe then, whatever. So, my thoughts on Trump being president? Eh, hopefully he does good, and doesn't fuck shit up. You know, hopefully I don't fucking wake up to a white flash and... <laughs> you know? That's what I hope for. That that doesn't happen. And so now the second question is, how do you feel about Taco Bell starting to sell healthier items on their menu? See, I didn't know that. But also, I love Taco Bell, so I don't care. I don't eat healthy Taco Bell food. I barely get to. But uh, as long as it doesn't affect them giving me loaded grillers, then more power to them. Cool for making an effort for a less obese society, or what the fuck ever their goal is for even 
thinking we should serve healthier foods. I mean now, and and you know if they uh if, if I walk into fucking Taco Bell one day and I just see every menu item as salad, 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 like every fucking thing's a salad and all the drinks are just water. I'll probably be pretty mad and be like, y'all, y'all need to quit fucking around. <laughs> this is, this is stupid. Ain't no one gonna want to eat salad every day. I mean, I like salads. Don't get me wrong, but just having every menu item a salad would be pretty ridiculous. Don't you agree? But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Is there any more questions? Let me go ahead and look. Um, no. Nope. I'm just double checking, so I'm going to just be saying nope a lot. God. I just got reminded of the Bama game. Oh well. But yeah, that's it. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Sorry, it was pretty lame and stupid and what the hell ever. But, uh, if you did, leave a like down below. Comment down below your thoughts on anything you've seen today. Uh, share this video around if you'd like to. Uh, if you haven't, go ahead and step through the void and join the Paradox today by subscribing. Like, over there, if it's right there, or up there. I don't know. But yeah, that's it for me. Do me the hugest favor in the world. Stay beautiful.